So bartenders used clear ice in high-end bars for a really long time and then many videos on YouTube, including this one, explain to you how easily in just about 30 hours you can make perfectly clear ice cubes right on your kitchen. Okay, before I show you how amazing this new clear ice maker is, let me remind you really quick, how did we get here? Using a medium-sized cooler, you fill it up with filtered water and end up with a large block of clear ice. Very simple technique, but then you need different tools to chop it into pieces and make it suitable for cocktail glasses. Well, and your friends will make fun of you for making cocktails this way. Then, a little later, many other different bad and decent ice molds were introduced. <sighs> if you're watching my main channel, you've seen that I used many, many times this great clear ice cube maker from True Cubes. When I tried it for the first time I was so impressed it was like the first iPhone almost perfect there are three parts both this part is made from silicon and this part made from plastic it is very simple to use fill it up with water keep it in the freezer for about 30 hours so the way it works water freezes slowly from top to bottom leaving all the impurities cloudy ice here in the bottom and here you have perfectly shaped clear ice cubes there you go and they're perfect for rock glasses. So when I teach how to make cocktails at home on YouTube or when I do my virtual events, I always mention that all of you should be using not only quality ingredients, but also good quality ice for all your cocktails, since it makes your cocktails taste better and dilute drinks slower than your cloudy ice. And they asked me, can we use the same ice tray for all kind of cocktails? Well, in the short answer is no, not really. But as I mentioned to you, the true cubes are perfect to serve something on the rocks, if you need to make something in a mixing glass, or if you need to use a shaker. But you cannot use cubes for highballs, any drinks that needed to be served in a Collins glass, not in a mason jar or the Moscow Mule cup. Well, unless you crack it, of course. But you probably want to avoid this unless you need specifically cracked ice. And I was just thinking how convenient would be to have an ice mold in which you can make different shapes of ice. There are also three separate parts, but what makes it different? You can make three types of clear ice and basically cover all your cocktail ice needs at home. This is how it works. Fill up with water, freeze it for 24 hours and get two medium-sized blocks of clear ice. To remove it from the plastic container, you need to get rid of the ice on the bottom. There are some impurities on the bottom, but usually it happens if the temperature in the freezer is too low. So adjust it and make sure that water freezes slowly to get a perfectly clear ice. This type of ice can be used for large punch type of drinks, or you can also use this block and practice to cheap corners, turn it into an ice sphere to serve whiskey on the rocks. But if you're not ready for such adventure and need a smaller cubes of ice without any effort, you place inside this divider and get medium-sized cubes that can fit into most glasses, including highballs. And if you place inside the next attachment, fill up not to the top, but about halfway, you will get a small size clear ice that could be used for any cocktails. I prefer to speed up the process, so I fill up to the top and when the entire thing is frozen, I separate them and using a knife, split in half. Put them in a Ziploc bag and store in the freezer. I'm going to leave a link in the description, but before you hit the order button, there are only a couple of things I found that could be improved in this clear ice maker. First, when you pour water, the plastic divider for medium-sized cubes wouldn't stay in the place where it's supposed to. And second, since all the parts are made from plastic and not silicon, it's kinda challenging to separate ice from the dividers. I had to wait around 10 minutes so ice could melt a little bit and only then I could remove it from these attachments. I'm going to add this ice maker to my existing true cubes and also this one that makes clear ice spheres and will be using for cocktails on the main channel. Also check out Tom's channel I'm going to leave a link in the description. He posts really cool content about cocktails and flair bartending. If this video was helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe if you want to hang out more with me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.